all reporters, all journalists are after the same thing. It's a search for the truth. And truth is a very, very elusive thing. Truth isn't always pretty. Truth's often ugly. But in order for our country to grow and to get better, you need that truth. Focusing on government is important because government touches almost every aspect of our lives. There's something a little wrong in the um, government psyche here. Anybody who's lived here for any period of time knows about the machine. We obviously have a long history of corruption, both the city at the state level. Corruption in government really affects people. It affects communities where people live. Depending who's doing it, how they're doing it, it can bleed a community dry. Elected officials and, and administrators definitely work behind closed doors. I think our public officials still believe that they can make decisions without letting the public know why they made those decisions. It's just none of our business. That is the attitude. And all of them are in our pockets. Okay, this is the problem. What can we do to make it better? It's so important for people to know what their governments are up to. Shining a light on government, holding public officials accountable, that's like the shortest and simplest way of explaining our mission. Transparency is essential for government and democracy to work. When no one's watching, people can do whatever they want. What happens when no one watches government is problems don't only persist, but they explode. And powerful people find a way to use government for their benefit, and it hurts the people who rely on government the most. You deserve to know all of the decisions that are being made and what went into those decisions. You know, bring out some of that scathing sunlight and put all the cards on the table so that people can see what's, you know, happening in their own backyard. That's our job. That is where we make our journalism. And that's what we do, right? As watchdogs, we make sure that we're keeping them honest. Keeping them honest by demanding the truth. That's how we discovered $55 million in TIF funds meant for blighted neighborhoods ended up at one of the city's hottest tourist destinations. And what I discovered was that the $55 million didn't really go for the hotel that they said it was going to go for. The money was basically going out the back door of the hotel and being handed over to the folks over at Navy Pier to spend on whatever they wanted. Who's money? Our money! Some activists out here demanding that Navy Pier and the mayor return $55 million in TIF funds, money they say should have gone to Chicago Public Schools. Nobody knew about any of this, and it's a massive misuse of TIF dollars. We also unearthed waste and neglect at the Chicago Housing Authority. What we found was that the Chicago Housing Authority was not protecting seniors and that a lot of politically connected companies were getting contract after contract even when they had a history of cost overruns and the projects being delayed. Seniors were suffering, seniors were struggling and the agency that was tasked with protecting them didn't do its job. And in a tragic matter of life and death, we investigated the Chicago Public Schools failure to safeguard the life of a special needs student who drowned in a high school swimming pool. What we found was mass disorganization. Six adults essentially watching 70 children in a pool. And Rosario, a 14 year old boy with autism who couldn't swim and wasn't wearing a life vest, got lost in the shuffle. And within minutes of him entering the pool, he's found at the bottom of the deep end. This tragedy is a sad byproduct of a system that hasn't taken care of its neediest students. They are cutting corners to save money. They are cutting staffing. This is a system-wide problem. Why do we do this to begin with? We're doing it because people in government have to be reminded who they really work for. Government is funded with our money. I mean, there are literally billions of dollars being spent by public officials of our money. And watching how they spend our money is an incredibly important thing. What readers should know when they see a BGA logo attached to a story is that these are important stories that affect their life. We want to make government better. We want to make government do those things that Andy always talks about. Accountability, efficiency, honesty, integrity. Those are good things. And, you know, to the extent that government doesn't live up to those ideals, our job is to try to force them to live up to those ideals. 
and that's our, our specialty here at the BGA.